Dear Diary, Life in the UK is getting me down. Yeah, we've good tea and biscuits, but there must be something more. Look at these guys. They had the right idea. Men who knew what they wanted. Handsome, courageous, not to mention well dressed. They took control. They took the bull by the horns and rode off towards eternal glory. So long, England. You're a great country, but it's just not working out. It's not you, it's me. We're too different. We've grown too far apart. France. The home of great wine, tiny coffees, and beautiful, enchanting, sophisticated girls. Oh, the girls. So I'd moved to France. The only thing left was to become French. I almost forgot about l'escalade, which is, of course, vraiment magnifique. Routes like Schuka, Le Rose et le Vampire, et Le Bronx were ahead of their time. They broke new ground, quite literally, and made possible what was impossible just quelques années avant. The French guys were not like the English, restrained by nature, their creative energy in chains. Le Bronx, c'est un masterpiece, truly visionary, with only three natural holes out of thirty. It forces its way through a steep and featureless overhang and a sequence de mouvement exceptionnel et exquisite. Perfect combination of brute force and technique. To truly become French, I needed to climb the Bronx. The only trouble, it was a bit too hard. I didn't know what to do. And then one night, dans un rêve, inspiration came to me. If I wanted to perform like the best climbers in the world, perhaps I needed to dress like the best climbers in the world. How could this plan have failed? I fell into darkness and started to drink. Yet through wine, I found my salvation. I read about the first ascent of Le Bronx from a young Francois Petit. He trained for the route by doing pull-ups, and when he could do 40 in a row, he knew he had what it took.
J'étais dans la meilleure forme de ma vie. The conditions were good, the stars were aligned, nothing could stand in my way. Except me. I could pass the crux feeling just fine, but then every time I'd lose my cool on the top wall and fall off. I just couldn't get past this mental block. It was time to do something a little drastic. Mr. Yuji-san, I've traveled many miles to find you. Will you show me your secrets and teach me to have a mind stronger than steel? For you, the road will be very wrong. But yes, I can teach you. But you have to give yourself 100%. And then I can teach you. James, you know, mind is the strongest muscle. I can show you now. Look at me. Mr. Yuji-san, you've been training me for three years, and now my mind is stronger than ever. But I have to ask you a question. When you did the Bronx, how did you keep your head together at the top of the route? Jameson, I never done Bronx. I always fall last move.
Dear Diary, Yesterday, I finished my adventure with the Bronx. It was a long road, with many potholes, and in the end, I don't really know what made the difference. Did I need to dress up? Did I need to travel to Japan, or do pull-ups till I passed out? Hell yeah I did, but at the end of the day, it just comes down to time. Time does its thing, sometimes slowly, sometimes fast. We just have to be patient, keep an open mind, and try the best we can.